Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Stephanie Yin. In this video, we're going to talk about how to finish a game and how to count the final score. Here is the example. When does the game end? There are two important parts. First, we have to know whether the territory is completely enclosed or not. So let's look at the, the entire board first. Black has the corner on the top and all of the points are enclosed. And on the left, black enclosed the corner and side. And also some points in the, in the center. And on the bottom right corner, black enclosed everything here. So for white's territory, what enclosed on the, on the top, on the, on the side, and the corner, and also some points in the center, and a few points on the, on, on the bottom. So after we make sure all of the territory are enclosed by uh, both black and white players, the next thing is we have to know whether all of the neutral points are filled. So what is a neutral point? These two points on the board are the neutral points. It doesn't belong to white or black territory, but it is kind of a public area on the board. In order to finish the game, every player has to fill all of the neutral points before we start counting the final score. So now it's white's turn. A white plays here and black plays the last the neutral points. Um, after the two neutral points are filled, we don't have any more moves that or any useful moves you can play on the board. So now we can say, the, the game ends. But according to AGA rules, American Go Association rules, white has to play the last move on the board. But what if we don't have any useful move we, we want to play? And then white has to pass the last stone to black as a, a move, the last move. And then after white uh, passed the last move to black, black also needs to pass one more round. So both player has to pass the last round and white needs to pass last in order to finish the game. So now since both player passed the last round, now the game ends. So after the uh, game ends, we don't have any moves on the board. Um, before we're going to count the scores, we have to remove all the dead stones on the board. So this white stone is dead because um, it doesn't have any eyes and for um, as black, black doesn't want to capture here because it's not necessary, it's not useful. After you capture here, yes, you kill the stone, but at the same time, you, you lose this point since the stone is already dead. So black doesn't want to waste the move to capture. So let's remove this dead stone and also one stone over here that's also dead stone. All right, so then put it on your side with all of the stones you capture. And for white, white only has one dead stone here, black stone, and then uh, we removed here. All right, so now make sure we don't have any dead stone on the board, we can start counting the points. So uh, the next step is we fill all of the stones you capture into your opponent territory. This is the easier way. So a lot of people are confused why we're putting the stone back to your opponent's territory. Okay. Here is the answer. So in order to add all of this, the, the stones you capture to your territory, it's easier to do this, to do them uh, subtract away. Because when you put one stone into your opponent territory, your opponent lose one point. All right, so that's the same math. All right, okay, so let's fill all of the white dead stones into white territory. And then let's do black. So since all of the dead stones are already filled into both black and white territory, next, let's count the points. So in order to use an easier way to count the points, then we should move around the stones into uh, count 
10 by 10. What does that mean? It means now, in order, uh, instead of we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's easier to make by 10s. That means we have two stones here, and then we can replace it here. Right. So we had a two stones here. So we remove these two stones into the territory over here. We still have nine points here compared with the original variation. Okay, so we remove these two stones here and then remove these two stones, one here and one over here. So on this side, what black has 10 points and plus, plus five points on the bottom right corner and four points, one, two, three, four points. So black has a 14 points in total. And let's do white's territory now. So in order to count one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's easier to do this way. Okay. Now white has 10 points in the center, four points, that's 14, plus seven points, the 21. So black has 14 points and white has 21 points, plus call me, and um, that's a 15 points. Call me is a seven and a half points. So on the board, the, ter the difference between the territory is uh, 14 and 21, it's a seven, seven points. So plus seven and a half points of call me, so white wins by 14 and a half. This is how we finish the game and count the final score. Remember, according to AGA rules, we have to finish all the neutral points and white needs to pass last and then you have to remove all the dead stones. If you have any more questions, you can go to our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter page. My name is Stephanie Yen. I will see you next time.